The no response from the remote server error is a common network issue that indicates a communication failure between your device and a remote server. This error often points to problems with your internet service provider or network configuration. When this error occurs, your device cannot establish or maintain communication with the remote server you're trying to reach. This breakdown in communication can happen at various points in the network path. Several factors can cause this error. ISP issues occur when your internet provider blocks connections or experiences technical problems. Network blocking happens when security software prevents access. Server problems mean the destination server is down or refusing connections. DNS issues prevent your computer from translating domain names to IP addresses. Incorrect router settings, such as wrong connection types, can disrupt communication. Physical cable problems or IP address conflicts on your network can also trigger this error. The first diagnostic step is checking all physical cable connections. Ensure that all Ethernet cables are securely connected to your router, modem, and devices. Loose or damaged cables are a common cause of connection failures. Next, restart your modem and router. Disconnect the power cables from both devices. Wait at least 30 seconds then reconnect the modem first. Wait for it to fully boot, then reconnect the router. This clears temporary issues and refreshes the connection. Access your router's configuration interface using a web browser. Typically, you'll navigate to 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. Verify that your connection type settings match what your ISP requires, such as PPPoE or dynamic IP configuration. Finally, Test by connecting your computer directly to the modem, bypassing the router entirely. If the direct connection works, this confirms the problem lies with your router configuration or hardware. If it doesn't work, the issue is likely with your ISP or modem. These diagnostic steps provide a systematic approach to identifying and resolving the no response from remote server error. By following this methodical process, you can pinpoint whether the issue stems from physical connections, equipment problems, configuration errors, or ISP-related issues. When basic troubleshooting steps don't resolve your connection issues, advanced techniques can help identify and fix deeper network problems. First, try flushing your computer's DNS cache. This clears outdated DNS information that might be causing connection failures. Understanding how DNS caching works helps explain why flushing can resolve connection issues. Your computer stores DNS lookups locally to speed up future requests. If DNS issues persist, switch to reliable public DNS servers. Google DNS and Cloudflare DNS offer fast, secure alternatives to your ISP's DNS servers. When advanced troubleshooting doesn't resolve the issue, contact your internet service provider. They can check for network outages, configuration problems, or infrastructure issues on their end. Looking toward the future, artificial intelligence is revolutionizing network management. AI-powered tools provide predictive analytics to identify potential issues before they cause outages. Software-defined Wide Area Networks, or SD-WAN, are becoming essential for reliable connectivity. This technology intelligently routes traffic across multiple connection types for optimal performance. Proactive network monitoring is becoming essential for preventing connection issues. Modern monitoring systems provide real-time visibility into network performance and security threats. By combining advanced troubleshooting techniques with emerging technologies, you can maintain optimal network performance and minimize connection disruptions. Stay informed about these trends to keep your network running smoothly.